welcome. Um, my name is Andrea Genoff. I'm the principal here at Bishop Kennedy, Our Lady of Loretto. Uh, this is the first time ever that we've had an open house that is remote. What we're normally used to is having hundreds of our students here and they are doing demonstrations and conducting the tours and signing people up for things. But in today's world with um, COVID, obviously things are very different. So I welcome you and um, let me tell you some things that I would like to, that I'm very proud of here at Bishop Kennedy, Our Lady of Loretto. So I think I have until just a couple minutes past 1.30, um, so about 1.32. Okay, so I want to talk to you first of all about our programs. And um, Bishop Kennedy, Our Lady of Loretto, is only one of the four um, Catholic schools that are gaining enrollment. And the reason that people are coming here to us, the main reason is our programs. So we have exceptional, exceptional programs. Our big key program is our dual credit program. And that means that students can take college classes and high school classes at the same time. So um, we, we have a massive program. We normally have 16 classes um, a year here and the college professors come to our campus our schedule is built so that the girls can take classes during the day and also right after school until four o'clock and they totally take advantage of it. The benefit of these classes is number one, you don't pay anything, it's totally free to you. Secondly, your student will get college credit and high school credit and they get the extra grade point average the same way that they would in an AP or an honors class, meaning a B goes to an A. So um, that's something you'll be learning about high school as you are making the transition. Um, so these classes look great on your college applications. And in addition to that, you can go into college with a year or more of college work already done. So you can easily go in as a sophomore. Many of our students do. And in fact, you can actually get an AA degree, a two-year degree at the same time you're graduating. But that requires intensity. So, but it's um, definitely out there available. We also have a large variety of AP classes and you'll learn about those as you visit the departments and honors classes. We have five magnet programs, law, medicine, education, engineering, and film production. The magnet programs, your academics are aligned to the magnet that you're interested in. Your community service should be done in the magnet program. And then we have wonderful internships or special programs that you can get involved in, for example, with Loyola School of Law and for SC for the engineering program. So those are very, very, very wonderful programs for our students that are strong. And in addition to that, we have a very rigorous support program here at Bishop Condity, Our Lady of Loretto. So students that are academically challenged, we have everything in place to help them to move forward and start taking advantage of all the other programs that we have. Um, our, our philosophy of education, or my philosophy of education, is bring the students in wherever they are, give them tremendous support, and push them up. And that's pretty much what we do. Uh, let's see. Um, this year, it's a little different. There will not be an HSPT given. Um, for us for this year. So um, I don't think that a remote HSPT is going to be very effective. And I don't know when the COVID um, requirements for isolation are going to be over. I use HSPT mainly for placement. For me, that's what I use it for. And so I will be able to do that with the other means that we have available to us. We will be conducting remote interviews, so that will continue this year. I will begin my family meetings in January. We will start remote. Um, I always 
put myself out there available in the evenings for our families, our students and families. You are given an hour of time and I go through your potential schedule. We actually create your schedule for next year, how the programs fit with you. We talk to your parents about finances, just general questions, make sure that you've done every step that you need to do for the application process. So once you have paid for your application in January, we will be contacting you by phone and asking you, would you like a meeting with me, with, my, um, with the principal, to sit down with your family and make sure everything is, um, is clear. It kind of, uh, last year, I think I did about 140 meetings. So it kind of ruins my January, February, March evenings, but it's definitely well worth it because I get to meet the students, make sure they're properly placed, get to know the families, and that is all very important. So, um, so as soon as you have paid for your application, and I'm sure Ms. Bustos covered that, uh, we will co start contacting people in January. Um, we do have a mandatory summer school. Our summer school, uh, if a student is a regular student, like an average student who would be taking algebra um, the following year, your summer school fee will, end, um, will be about $200 and you would go mornings. Uh, students that are more advanced will go until about 3.30 and your fee would be $250. And I'll talk about that a little bit about, because I'm going to go talk about our second semester courses in math that are available to eighth grade students. So second semester, we will be offering two classes for interested eighth graders. The first, they're both math. Um, they are Saturday mornings and they will start remote until we can bring the students back. You may check out an iPad from our school so that you have a good connection. And our iPads do have the internet attached. So that is, um, it costs $200 to be in this, that group of classes, the Saturday remote class. So for the students that are very strong in math, how, what happens is you will complete we hope algebra one during second semester. During summer, you will go right into geometry and complete geometry. And then as a freshman going into school in the fall, you will go right into algebra two or algebra two honors. So you really have a very steep climb there. If you are in our, um, our Saturday program and you don't get your algebra credit, you should at least be made strong enough that you can take algebra in summer and go right into geometry as a freshman. So those are very positive. Um, we did it for the first time last year and it was very successful. And this year, um, we're also adding a class um, for students that are academically challenged in math. And what that basically means is Math is very sequential and it has strong building blocks. And if you have missed some of those building blocks, you need to have everything reiterated so you get very strong. So um, those students will be receiving elective credit for second semester. And uh, hopefully it will help to support and build that core of knowledge in math. So those two classes are going to be available Next week, I will send out to you emails that have, hopefully you're on Ms. Bustos' email chain. Um, I will send out to you the specific details of those classes. You would need to pay a $100 deposit for the class by January, the first week in January, the class would be starting the second week in January. It will cost $200 total. So it's a pretty good deal for um, getting that math moving in a positive direction. Okay, I also want to make sure that I, I think you've been told this, but I want this is really important. CEF, the Catholic Education Foundation, which is tuition assistance, it is 
essentially important that you do your application. Whether or not you're 100% sure if you're going to a Catholic school or not, if you do not do the application, um, you lose out on your opportunity. And so that is essential that you do that. If you are a CEF recipient this year, you go through your current school to get your application and make your appointment. That puts you as a cycle one student. And usually those are the easiest because they're renewals. Renewals are easier than the total new um, people coming in for CEF. If you are at a public school or a charter school or you didn't qualify for CEF previously, but because of financial situations brought on by COVID or whatever, you may qualify this year, then you can um, go into our website to make an appointment or feel free to call our office and our secretaries will be glad to help you make an appointment. If you have any detailed questions about the application, please call us and we'll be glad to walk you through or assist you as needed. Um, so that is very, very important. And um, then I think Ms. Busos also talked to you about making sure that you pay your $30 application fee and how you can do that. And I think that's pretty much the things that I was going to cover today. I am so looking forward to meeting all of you, spending some time with you and learning um, about how we can help you and be the greatest school choice for you. So our, our enrollment, as I had said to you in the beginning, is growing. Um, our graduating class last year was 61 and our current freshman class is 118. So you can see we're really moving forward. So most probably we will not allow our enrollment to go over 400. Um, it might, it'll probably settle somewhere around there. So it's very, very important um, for if you are interested to get right in the cycle so that you do not miss out on getting an opportunity to come to our school. So uh, that's, I think that's pretty much, I'm available to talk to you individually. All you have to do is email me. You can find my email on our website and then I give me your phone number and I will return the call. So at this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Diane Teckham and she is our development director. She was our financial director for quite a few years here. So she is going to be presenting the English version of all the financial information that you will need. So nice seeing you and Ms. Teckham will just pick right up from here. Thank you, Mrs. Jenna. Um, I have placed her um, email address in the chat section. So if you wanted to um, download that or just to copy that, you'll be able to send her an email as she shares with us that um, all, of, all the wonderful, interesting information and about the robust programs that we have here. I am sure that you are all really excited about those programs and your parents are really excited to find out how much does this cost? So I have, I'm going to be presenting a video to you right now um, that is, Ms. Contreras is our business manager and she'll be going through a, a little presentation for you that's about five minutes. If you have questions, please enter them into the chat and after the video, we'll go through those questions one by one and make sure all of your questions get answered today. All right, bear with me just a moment and I will load up the video. Welcome, my name is Irma Contreras and I'm your business manager here at Bishop Carlo Loreto High School and I'll be talking how to finance the high school tuition. I'm going to show you now my screen. We will 
be talking about tuition fees, additional costs, payment plans, tuition assistance programs, and how to apply. We have two plans, Plan A and Plan B. In Plan A, tuition cost is $8,285. In this plan, it's required to have two fundraising, each $200, for only $400. And these fundraisers occur in the fall and in the winter. We also have 30 parent service hours, and we charge $25 for any missing parent needed. In Plan B, the tuition cost is $10,582, but there's no mandatory fundraising or parent service hours or missing parent needed. But in this plan, your families are not eligible to apply for financial aid. The additional cost is the application fee, which is $30 per student. Registration fee is $500 per student. In March the 12th and the 13th, it will only be $400, a savings of $100. Textbooks are between $200 and $500, and uniforms are $200, $300. But in the summertime, we have used textbooks and uniforms, which you can get at discount price. Sports fees are $125 per sport, and the freshman summer school program is between 200 and 250, depending on the level of the math. Payment plan. All students are required to have tax tuition agreements. Tax is the one who manages our tuition. So we have three payment plans. The first one is the payment in full by August the 1st. And you will receive $300 discount as an early birth. The second is two payments, which is August the 1st and January the 2nd. And the third, which is the popular, is the 11 automatic payments, which goes from July the 1st through May the 1st. Tuition assistance programs. We have two tuition assistance programs, the Catholic Education Foundation and the Bishop Connolly Loretta High School. There are some Catholic elementary schools and parishes that provide some financial aid to students you will have to inquire. There's limited merit scholarships available for our honor students. How to apply. The Catholic Education Foundation this year will be holding their meetings by Zoom. Therefore, Bishop Connolly has reserved December the 7th and the 8th, this coming Monday and Tuesday, for you to up your appointments. You would go to www.cefbn.org and on the right hand corner, you click contact us, tap appointments, you click the blue word that says click here. And you would choose Bishop Carlin Loretta High School to make your appointments. If you have a difficult time doing this, you can call Monday morning and we will help to set the appointment. In this appointment, you will be meeting with CEF. It is very important that you put the correct email address. That is how you're going to receive the link from CEF and to have your appointment. In that appointment, you will need the following documents. You will need your 2019 tax return. If you do not have a 2019 tax return, you will need a notarized income declaration. Now, these documents, you can find them also in our website here at Bishop Connie Loretto under Tuition Assistance. We have those documents for you to download. We'll be accepting applications Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 2 o'clock p.m. through December the 18th. Decision letters will be sent on March 2021. It's imperative to apply the financial aid deadline. Even if you're not sure, please do apply by December the 7th and the 8th for the tuition assistance. After this presentation, I will be answering any questions that you might have. Thank you and God bless. Okay, thank you, um, Ms. Contreras, for that. I am just quick going to write into the chat. Um, again, the CEF website 
where you are able to log on and um, make your appointment. As she indicated, that is the critical piece that you want to be able to do um, today, if possible, is make that appointment. Making sure that all of your applications for tuition assistance being done now by this December 18th deadline that we have is critically important for us to be able to tell you how much your tuition is going to be at the time of registration at the beginning of March. It is the beginning of March when we um, send out all of the registration forms um, if you do choose. Um, and I'm sure many of you will be choosing Bishop Flanity. So let me take a look at questions. I'm sorry on the volume, I am not able to do that. Um, can we apply online and um, applying for tuition assistance? Yes, again, that's at the CEF um, website to make an appointment. You'll be meeting directly with that, um, the CEF representatives. What you will need is a completed copy of your application and your taxes or your declaration. They will be looking at that with you and answering any questions. And don't hesitate if you did miss something. They are the experts and they will help you figure it out and make sure that you get all the information in on time. And I think, um, again, I'm, I'm seeing we're having a volume problem and I apologize for that. And um, can a seventh grader apply this year in order to start working on math classes offered? Mrs. Jenoff, would you answer that question, please? Um, yes, I think a seventh grader could apply. Um, the problem, yes, that's a possibility. The algebra might be pretty heavy for you. So um, it depends what kind of student you are. So I would, if I were you, I would email me and with your phone number and within the next few days, I will probably next week sometime, I'll get back to you and we'll have an individual conversation on that. Thank you. Oh, I wanted to, um, in response to the, can we apply online? If you're actually looking for um, an application for admissions, Yes, that is on our website at www.bishopconnedyloretto.org. And under the admissions tab, there is an application there. And you are able to do that right online. You will need to make arrangements then to pay the $30 application fee, um, either via over the phone, via credit card, or make arrangements with Ms. Contreras to bring in a payment. And Sari, did that answer your question in terms of um, the application being filled out, how to pay for it online I, or, or either online um, via, you would need to call the office to make that payment online or um, call Mrs. Contreras, Ms. Contreras to confirm when she's available to take cash payments. And that looks like all of the questions. Oh, wait, there's more. I am writing in the website of the school. Um, and a question about the merit scholarships. Mrs. Jenoff, are we offering the merit scholarships? Um, yes, we will be offering the merit scholarships. There may be a different format for receiving the merit scholarships if we are not giving the HSPT. So we might be looking at um, another way to do that, and we have not made that discussion yet. Uh, it's possible that we might be giving um, the STAR test instead of HSPT because we do do that three times a year. So that's a possibility. But at the moment, we are not giving HSPT. And Mrs. Jenoff, could you tell us when the math classes begin? 
The math classes are going to begin on Saturday morning, the second week in, um, in January. So it looks like um, January 16th is when it would be because we have the first, we don't come back until the fourth from vacation. That week we will have it available for applications and to make the deposit payment and um, which is $100 for summer school or for a second semester of math. And then the first class will begin on Saturday, January 16th. And the classes will start remote. And once we're allowed to bring students back, um, we will have it here. We'll probably, to begin with, have it hybrid. So it would be remote or on campus as your choice, where you feel safest. Thank you. And do we have a date for when summer school begins? I do not have a date right here. Um, but I think that we can get that for you. If you would email me that question, then I would get back to you with it. Um, it normally starts a couple weeks after we are finished. So it, you can figure pretty much by mid-June, that's when we are in summer school. And there is a question, is there a criminal and justice program or something similar? One of the magnet programs that we do offer um, that I know of is our law magnet. And um, we also have many students who uh, are interested in criminal justice. And there are several uh, colleges that have excellent programs that we've been working with our students to get in. And beginning last year, we built a relationship with Loyola Law School and um, students wanting to get into the law aspect of it are able to work with law students and present to real judges and those kinds of things. Um, it, it is a very exciting program. And Mrs. Jenoff also brings in several of the college programs that help aid the students interested in that direction as well. Anything you want to add to that, Mrs. Jenna? No, I think you did a pretty good job on that, Ms. Techum. But law does also include criminal justice. That a student asking, saying she's currently in eighth grade taking algebra one and would she be taking geometry in summer school? Um, probably. Yes, I would say most probably you are, but you, um, you should really come and be tested because um, what we have found is algebra one in middle school isn't exactly high school algebra one and you need to have that really, really strong, firm foundation in order to be um, comfortable in taking Algebra two, pre-calc, calculus, et cetera. So um, the second semester class would not hurt you in any way. It would start off reviewing, but it quickly moves into, um, that's, that class is geared for the strong math student. So you definitely might think about that. But also we do have placement tests available so we could give you a test and you could see just how strong you are in Algebra 1. Uh, Ms. Techum, I can't hear you at all. Well, that, now, does be, oh, that was because I was muted. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> The thing I learned in 2020 was try to remember to unmute myself. Um, the question is how do we enroll for summer school and are there magnet programs for people interested in music? And um, I believe that the summer school enrollment, you'll be seeing information on that in March with registration for the regular school year. At that time, they will also produce the enrollment forms. Is that correct, Mrs. Jenna? That is correct. And I will tell you, we have so many programs that we haven't really talked about. But we have been very, very lucky um, this year. There is a group that is a very well-respected musical group. 
in Los Angeles, and they are called Global Arts. You can look them up. Uh, Global Arts needed a place to hold their classes. They have all kinds of um, instrumental and choral classes. And we needed, I needed lessons for my students in uh, instrumental and vocal music. And so we have come to an agreement. So they use our campus um, a few days a week between four and seven to give the lessons. The lessons are free to our students. And so it's a great connection there. Thank you. And I think we have gone through the questions. I have placed the CEF website out again in the chat. We have reached the um, times. And yes, there. Oh, there's a dance classes offered. Yes, we do have dance classes too. I honestly don't know if you could ask a question now that we're going to say, nope, we don't do that. And we're, we don't know how because that is not how we work. Right, Mrs. Jenna? That's right. I would like to add something. Um, when you are going for the rest of today, you are only going to be able to see three academic subjects and five co-curricular um, areas. So you may not be able to see the seven academics um, and the five co-curricular. You know, you'd only have a choice of three and then one. But this is going to be up on our website, the whole video within before Christmas break, within a couple weeks. So you'd be able to go back in and then choose the things you didn't get to see today. So hopefully that is good information for you. And also on financial aid, don't forget, we have our Bishop Condé de Our Lady of Loretto financial aid, which also can be given to you on top of the CEA. And don't forget to ask your schools, your principals or your pastors they are also um, a great source. Um, many of the schools do offer some sort of assistance, some of the parishes, especially now at this time. And it does not ever hurt to ask. The worst thing that'll happen is they'll say, no, we don't have any money available. Um, so I, I, I just encourage you to ask. But when I'm with the families, I definitely go over the whole financial package for you. So you have a much better idea of it individually. So we have reached the end and I don't want you to miss um, any of your next one. You will need to leave this meeting now and um, you can select your next academic class that you would like to go to from the links Mrs. Bustos has um, given to you. And so you can choose the next one that you're interested in. Thank you very much for attending. Bye. Great job. That was amazing.